Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today we will discuss a new chapter, some natural phenomena. Okay, so we will start with lightning. So students, what is lightning? You might have seen sparks on an electric pole. Let's say this is the electric pole and the wire are joined to some other electric pole okay so when wires become loose this phenomena is quite common when wind is blowing so you will see when two wires and shaking the wires means when there is wind or you shake the wire this phenomena of lightning is very common you might have seen sparks also let's say this is a okay this is a electric board with the buttons okay in your home so when the electric socket this is the socket okay so when we use a plug let's say I am using a plug okay so when I use a plug and the plug is loose in the socket so you can also see the lightning there also okay so but in ancient time students people did not understand the cause of these parts okay so when lightning occurs in the sky in ancient times people were not able to understand the cause of these parts okay they were therefore afraid of lightning so means the lightning in the clouds okay so let's say this is one cloud this is second cloud in a rainy day or some other days okay so you will see there is some lightning okay so in ancient times people were not able to understand what are the causes of this lightning they thought that this is a wrath of God that God is unhappy with the people that's why the lightning is occurred okay but uh, but the main reason for the lightning was accumulation of charges in the clouds accumulation of charges in the cloud okay so this was the main reason for the lightning in the cloud okay and we need not to be afraid of the lightning but we have to take care we need not to afraid of lightning but we should take but we have to take proper precautions to protect ourselves from the deadly sparks sometimes the lightning is that large that it reaches the surface of earth okay means okay so we should take proper precautions so students now comes to how charging is done by rubbing okay so let me erase first all this so student how charging is done by rubbing okay let me give you an example take a used ball pen refill and rub it with the rub it vigorously with the with the 
piece of polythene bring it now bring it close to a small piece of paper but you will see that the paper gets attracted towards the refill okay so this is the one example example number 1 now this is example number 2 i am discussing when a plastic comb is rubbed with dry hair it acquires a small charge it acquires a small charge okay so these objects are called as charged objects are called as charged objects okay students so i gave you two example that how charging is done by rubbing two materials okay so i hope now you guys are pretty clear now i am giving you one assignment a assignment for your home rub a razor with wool and test with small paper that whether it attracts small paper or not okay students so this is your assignment and write the your answer in the comment section of the this lecture okay so thank you students keep enjoy the learning with scholars learning in my next lecture i will discuss about types of charge and their interaction okay so stay tuned for my next lecture on types of charge thank you students stay blessed